Hello YouTube. This video is called Sort Gmail by Sender. Um, this could be used by anybody, but I'm using Wealthy Affiliate as an uh, example um, to kind of help out in that area. I think it's a really good example because um, you, you could literally be helping or connected with a couple hundred people. And uh, so you're going to be getting a lot of information based on their activity. Um, now what you don't want to do is get overwhelmed by this and if you leave things as it are, is, you're just going to spend so much time uh, sorting through and prioritizing. Um, you can um, eliminate a lot of that um, to make it manageable um, so you can get through the most important things um, like direct communication um, with your friends. Anyway, so here we go. Um, I'm going to try to make this quick. So um, in this case, uh, new questions, okay? Um, I like new questions. Um, I don't know those aren't going to be my priority. I want um, direct communication. Now this is something I'm going to go to um, when I taking care of a lot of my other tasks, uh, especially when it comes to email. So right now I just kind of want to put that to the side and I want to put them all to the side so and I don't want to have to do it manually because if I do, I'm going to be using up a lot of my time um, and your time can be really precious sometimes when you're trying to get a whole lot done. So you can spend a whole lot of time on that, or you can come in here, and what you're going to want to do is create a label, right? So I'm going to have a couple different things here. Um, okay, so you've got new question, uh, new blog post. So you're going to want to kind of group these up into one um, main category. So those would be subcategories, and the way you do that is you create a label. A label. Think of it as kind of like creating a folder that you're organizing on your desktop or your hard drive and um, well let's go ahead and just go into Gmail kinda of give you an idea of how that's done so whether you're gonna to want to do that is you're going to want to come over here to where it says settings and oh, let's see go into settings and you have all these options here okay so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and create your labels all right, um, so you go down right here, uh, create labels. You click on this right here, and um, like in this case, I'm just going to say uh, wealthy affiliates. Okay, um, wealthy affiliate, and it's going to be its own category. Now, when I create my subcategory, I'm going to click on this and select Wealthy Affiliate from the download list. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and create that. We're going to come back and we're going to do it again. We're going to create, um, let's see, what's first thing I'm kind of looking at right now is called a uh, new question. Okay, perfect. So new question. So when I want to come back and uh, work on this, um, I'll know where to go. And um, it's just a way to just kind of organize your, um, or yeah, make your workload a little bit more organized. You get a, a lot more done, get your priorities taken care, care of first. So uh, it says uh, nested under, okay? So I'm clicking on that and I'm selecting wealthy affiliate because I need uh, the new questions to be under wealthy affiliate so I can find it pretty quickly. So um, when I go and there's, you know, new, new questions, posts and all that stuff, within um, Wealthy Affiliates. I click on Wealthy Affiliates and then the uh, specific subfolder. But these are labels. For some reason they call them labels. I guess it works. Um, anyways, so this is how you do it. And when you come down here you're gonna see uh, under Wealthy Affiliates there's new question. Okay? Perfect. So over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on new question. We'll just do this one here, and and what you're going to want to do is just come over here and right here and say, okay, I want to, because you want to do all this stuff automatically. Have it done while it's coming into your folder, so you don't even have to, you know, look at it until you're ready to look at it. Okay, you just kind of want it out of the way. Um, you come back to it um, when you're done with all your uh, tasks that are more of a priority. Okay. So you're going to want to filter this message like this. It's already going to put um, who from sender, right? Um, so you put in your email here. 
where whatever email it's sending it to. Your subject. Okay, this is why I have a whole bunch of these opened up because I want to make sure I get the uh, subject right. Um, and you want to be as exact as possible so you don't inadvertently um, accidentally sort something that didn't need to be sorted into the um, into that particular area. Let's see. See if I can find it again. Oh, I know what to do. Bear with me here, folks. There we go. The reason I, I'm doing it this way is I'm just kind of setting this up for this tutorial. Um, and so I removed what I already had set up so that I can come back and show you how to um, get it set up properly. And so when, when you do that, it doesn't put them back in inboxes. Um, I guess your inbox folder, which is your in, is an inbox label. Okay, so, and you know, every little mistake I make, it's, it's a learning um, process. We're all going to learn together from this. So uh, the reason I came over here is I wanted to make sure that... Um, that I collect the information as accurately as possible and basically I want to um, within the subject line new question okay you don't want to include the uh, colon uh, sometimes that confuses the sorting system so uh, this is good enough we're gonna go ahead and click that so basically whenever you get something from uh, this email address and the subject line says new question it's going to get sorted, and I'm going to show you how that works. So, new question. You also, have, you know, you want to be as specific as possible. So, not only does it have to have this subject, it has to have. Um, let's see here to answer the question. Hmm. Oh, here we go. You don't want Farah's name on there because that's going to be different um, person every single time you get one of these messages. So, go ahead and select just. Um, ask a qu question in classroom okay perfect so you copy that now if you don't know I'm hitting control C okay but you can also right click and hit copy control C is to copy control V is to paste or you can hit um, right click paste all right so what do we have here we have a filter um, that takes any email message that you get from wealthy affiliate to your email address and I guess that doesn't matter. It has to have the subject, um, has to have new question, the and it has to have the words just asked a question in the classroom. So you know exactly what's getting sorted. It's not going to accidentally send you something um, that was important from this email address that had maybe a new question for you, um, you know, something else. So this is very specific. And you, you want to be as specific as possible in that. Okay, that it just solves a lot of problems. Um, all right, so what you're going to want to do, uh, you're going to apply a label, right? Wealthy affiliate, new question, perfect. And we also want to skip the inbox. So we're going straight to, from when it, when it gets sent to you, go straight into wealthy affiliate, new question. And... Also, go ahead and click on this. And what this is going to do is, this is going, I do believe this is just going to go ahead and archive all the ones that are currently um, in your inbox right now. So you create the filter, and boom, just worked. Okay. So I come over here, uh, come back, hit F5. All the new questions. Um, if I go to the inbox, you'll see that they're they're not going to be here. Um, when, you, when you do this, they'll be removed from your inbox, okay, because that's a label. They're no longer, they no longer hold this label. They actually hold the wealthy affiliate new question label. And whenever you want to come in here, click on this, and you can say, okay, uh, new question. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so uh, Stephen has a question um, in a classroom. Let's see if I can go in there and answer that question. 
you know, those of you who are multi affiliates, you know why you would want to do that. Um, you know, we're all part of a team. And if you have the answer, of course, you're going to want to answer that question and help somebody as you have been helped. Um, we're a very uh, tight knit community. And, um, and of course, you get ranked in that. And, you know, there's a lot of benefits that come along with um, helping people out. Not to mention the fact, you know, if you, depending on your philosophy, the more you help people, um, the more that comes back to you. I've always heard it said that uh, everything that you do for somebody comes back to you at 100 um, times, and I believe in that. But everybody's different. I'm not going to uh, force anybody's uh, belief on that. Okay, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next one. Come back. All right. So... Um, you, you won't see here because I actually have it selected for all email instead of just inbox. But um, every uh, message that comes to me, uh, this the new question will not go in an inbox. It's going to skip that and go right into um, right into the uh, and you can see them here. They're labeled and actually, let's see here. Let's go ahead and hit F5 on this. We'll go and reload that. Let's see what that does. Oops. Exit all that. So, you know, you can see it here as well. You know, they, they've been labeled properly. Wealthy affiliate, new question. Okay. So that's been labeled properly. And let's go to the next one. If there are any next ones, just go to inbox then. All right. So, new question. Uh, new blog post is going to be the same thing. You're not necessarily going to want to. Um, uh, uh, basically, what, what this is saying, uh, for those of you who aren't with wealth, Wealthy Affiliates, somebody has, well, let's go in there. Adam has created a new post, uh, blog, um, and in this case, I'm going to want to go in there and, um, you know, read his blog, comment on it. Um, that gets returned, okay? Do it for him, he'll do it for you. It's a quick pro quo, um, and that's a great way for uh, things to work. Anyway, so... Uh, but I haven't got, um, you know, you don't want to have to sort these things at, on the go. So we're going to go ahead and automatically get that sorted. And again, um, so this is going to be a new blog post. Let's go ahead and uh, create the label for that, right? Creating label. Let's see. Uh, new blog post under a wealthy affiliate. All right, that's going to automatically, so I guess if you click on this, it'll automatically um, get selected for Nest Under um, Wealthy Affiliates. It's going to be Wealthy Affiliate, new blog post, perfect. And then we're going to come over here, we're going to, uh, we're going to create a filter for this. Click on this over here. Let's see, uh, filter, uh, messages like this, okay, so it's already got, it already has their email. The two is going to be you, your email. Okay. And um, the subject, let's go to inbox. The subject's going to be did it do just blogged? I'll just say uh, that it just blogged, I think would be perfect. Because this is the title, Notes on a Productive Day. Um, that'll be different probably. But this is good enough. Um, just blogged in combination with the uh, new blog post um, subject line. Now let's see, why can't I get this? Perfect. Oops, actually that was a subject line. That's the words that are inside the letter. Okay, subject line is going to be a new blog post. Let's go ahead and get that set up. Perfect. So basically any email, again, um, coming from a wealthy affiliate is, and to um, your this email here, in my case, candyapps.com, uh, or candyappsgmail.com, and has the words uh, just blogged is going to get um, filtered 
under this new uh, is going to get sent to this new filter. Okay, uh, we're going to skip the inbox. We're going to get we're going to apply uh, the new uh, filter so it goes straight to it. In this case, a new blog post. Let's go ahead and uh, select this right here so we can go ahead and get the rest of them in there. We don't have to. We don't want to. We're trying to automatically sort these things, and it'll save you a ton of time. It may not seem like much. When I first started doing this, I was uh, just doing it manually. Didn't really think much of it. Didn't think it would, um, you know, be a whole lot of hassle. But it turned out to um, add up to a whole lot of time that um, could be used more effectively doing something else. Okay. Okay, so there that is. Uh, see, in this case, you've seen that they're gone now. The new blog posts are no longer here in my inbox. It automatically sorted them, um, which is perfect. So you come over here, uh, wealthy affiliate, um, new new blog posts, um, new questions, and they're in here. So you click on here. See, they're on here. So when whenever I'm ready to go, I'll throw them in there. And obviously, there's certain things I don't want to put in there. Um, personal uh, profile comments. I want to um, I want to acknowledge these as they come in. Um, it's very important, and the reason for this is because that's going to be in your profile. Okay, your profile is going to be broadcast all over the internet, and you're going to have conversations on there likely. And um, you know, if somebody decides to become a, a member of Wealthy Affiliate, you will get credit for that. Um, so maximum exposure. Um, you're going to get that mainly by um, answering people's comments as quickly as possible. And so, um, anybody who uh, you have any questions or comments, you can all. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you can go ahead and uh, comment down there. Or I'm leaving my uh, link for uh, my profile at Wealthy Affiliates. Now it's free. You come in there, sign up, and you can communicate with me di directly, and I'll work with you um, on becoming a successful uh, web builder. Um, so thank you, YouTube, uh, for checking us out. And again, if you have any questions, come talk to me. And um, I'll answer whatever questions you have. And actually, it's really good because it gives me uh, stuff to, um, to answer for YouTube. All right, bye.